Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are in Copenhagen and I've got the Leica Q2 reporter. Now today I've decided that I'm going to make things a little bit more simple and I am going to shoot things in black and white, but I'm going to do it straight in camera. So I've set it on the preconditioned JPEG monochrome. I've got it on the high, high, high contrast setting and I'm just going to wander around this beautiful city taking some nice black and white images, which is a little bit out of my comfort zone, as you all know. It'll just be really nice to try something a little bit different, capture some stuff, some nice candid street stuff, as I walk around for the first time in this new city. The route that I'm taking, uh, I will put it down in the description. Um, well, just the spots that I've been to and, and walked around while here in Copenhagen. It's down in the description if you want to go and have a look. Oh, might be a nice little reflection here. Might be quite a nice shot. Hey. Ah, oh, that was a cool little shot as he was uh, unloading the uh, tomatoes out of the van. Now, I'm not in any rush, but I want it to be fluid. So as I'm walking around, I just want to capture the photos naturally and if a frame presents itself, then I will wait around to try and get that frame. But essentially, I just want to walk around and just capture just people in, in their, their normal, natural <laughs> habitat. <laughs> that sounds so funny, but you, <laughs> you get what I mean. Let's see what this could work. So you have these tables, their seats, and this isn't open yet. But I'm thinking I might be able to get... I mean, maybe if I wait long enough, I might be able to get some people like naturally framed in these. Oh, this guy here. Maybe. So all it is is just looking around and searching for like natural frames like this is what I typically try to do. So this is the frame up here. Nice. Hmm, that actually worked pretty well. And sometimes I do surprise myself. But yeah, a lot of the time it's just walking around the city and looking at the normal frames, but then also trying to see if there's any abstract frames you can use. So like these bags, obviously they're quite close together, but they create these lines. which also creates a frame. Did I get that one? Uh, yeah. Kind of? Hmm, not so much. I'm going to switch to manual focus. I'm going to go to about two meters. Let's try and get it on the floor. And just wait for someone to walk through there. Now, there's a few ways of focusing with a Leica and, well, any other camera, but specifically a smaller compact camera like this. One is you can have a focus area. So you can set it to about two meters, set it to like F6 to F5, F, F6 to F8, and then you have the focus distance to about two meters, um, and then you work within that focusing frame. The other way is you can use autofocus on some of the Leicas and some of the bodies. Um, the thing is, autofocus isn't amazing on these, so it's a bit hit and miss. But that being said, it kind of does the job. Mm -hmm. This is quite nice. I think if I come down this way and face back towards the street, um, I'm going to do, 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 do. Just wait for someone to walk through, but I want someone walking through quite close. I think I could probably get a bit closer to the frame. Bad, but I wonder if I can use this as like a 
a bit of foreground and then get some people in amongst it. Okay, so there's no one in here, but there's all these nice bikes which look quite nice. It's very echoey in here. <laughs> Super echoey. Now, typically when I'm using my Leica, um, I don't I don't hold the camera out like this to take photos. Um, I normally put it up to my eye. The reason I'm holding it out in front of me for these videos is so that you can visually see what I'm doing on the camera. Um, that's the only reason I do that in these videos. Otherwise, normally it would be on my eye. So I'm just waiting for someone to walk through this frame or cycle through. Just waiting, as always. So I only have one bar left on the Leica battery, but there is a Leica store uh, in Copenhagen. So I'm gonna call in there and see if I can get a battery from them because I wanna carry on shooting. I don't want to just stop the video because I'm out of battery. Um, and for those wondering why my battery is, is dead and I didn't, I didn't charge it, I'm currently uh, sleeping in my car as I travel around Europe. So as a little FYI, <laughs> so it's been difficult to charge things. And today I'm in Copenhagen and I wanted to go out in the morning and get some nice black and white photos. Oh, look at this dude. This guy's a vibe. Heading down this way because this is where the like store and hopefully they have a battery because, well, if they don't, I'm going to have to pause this video and continue it tomorrow. How's it going, guys? Yeah, good. How are you? I'm good. Uh, do you have any Q2 batteries? Uh, yeah, I should do. Here for a visit? Okay. Yeah. How long are you here for? Till tomorrow. Okay. Are you shooting with it this morning? Because I can put it. Um, what I can do is I can put it on charge. Thank you, Luca. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Okay, so massive shout out to Luca at the Leica store in Copenhagen for sorting me out. He is going to put my battery on, well, my other new battery on charge, so that when this one finally runs out, I can just pop back to the Leica store, get my fully charged battery, and I can continue on. Maybe some. Don't be I will reiterate, the reason I got the Leica Q2 is fundamentally to evolve my photography, to make me work harder for the photos that I want to take. What I feel like is my Sony camera, which is, is a good camera, of course it is, it's a great camera, but it's somewhat limiting because I see it as a, as a work tool. I, I don't, it's really strange. I see it more as a, as a work tool, as a working horse that I can use for work. And then this for me is a photography camera. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone else, but that's how I view it. Um, and I, I get more enjoyment with using a smaller compact camera than I do from my Sony. And I don't know why that is. I think it's, it's because, you know, maybe this feels more nostalgic or it might feel more right. I don't know if these are the, the right words, but it's just how it makes me feel. And I think that's how important photography is, that it makes you feel something rather than makes you do something. I don't know if that's the right wording, but I feel like it is. Okay, well, I stopped for a bit of lunch and the 
the rain has started and well it's definitely going to help with some more aesthetically pleasing images so nice to be out in the rain which is a uh, probably more than I can say for most people most people don't like the rain for obvious reasons but um, I've got it set just so everyone knows uh, I'm at f2.8 500 of a second and then ISO is on auto so I've got the ISO on auto because I just want it to do its thing and I want to be able to walk past people and snap some shots um, and again like I said earlier on there's no real correct way of shooting as long as you're just out enjoying your time having a bit of fun getting some photos and just doing your thing then that's all that really matters and I'm actually glad that it started raining getting absolutely drenched but this might be a nice shot here if they don't put the map down these two here looking at the map nice oh that's cool Ooh, ooh. Rainy, 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 rainy. Might be able to use the bin as a frame. So I'm thinking bin, frame, people. Ah, I could do with some like umbrella shots, like that way. Very, very, very grim. Maybe this lady down here. Oh. So there might be a nice little frame here, this uh, hot dog stand maybe. It looks like I can kind of creep around the side here and get a, a frame of people walking through. See when they lean forwards, maybe. It's so rainy. I get a nice shot of this. Nice. Oh. He wouldn't believe it's got heavier. <laughs> it's just getting heavier and heavier and heavier. I love that everyone else is in like rain jackets, they've got umbrellas, they've got ponchos and I'm here in just a, a hoodie <laughs> and some very thin joggers, it's, uh, it's definitely not warm. Another hot, dog, hot, another hot dog stand, do you see anyone in there, is anyone in there? I'm going to get it, nice little cool frame. <laughs> well, that was cool. It actually focused on the smoke that was actually pretty sick that worked out way better than I anticipated actually it's probably the only good thing about people that vape is it creates nice images <laughs> for other people that's the only good thing about them so I'm nearly at the end of the video I've got a few more shots I can get around here uh, but I will definitely be doing more videos with the Q2 and I'll be definitely doing more videos in black and white as well but let's just have a quick look at the, the train station here. There might be a nice shot of people going in and out of the train station. Uh, like through the window of the umbrellas and then just 
going down like that. Very nice, maybe I can go the other side and then shoot back towards the steps from this side. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you've enjoyed looking at the photos from the Leica Q2 Reporter. I'll be doing more videos with this camera going forward as well as other street photography videos in various locations. So if you're interested, subscribe, notification bell, and all of the good stuff. Create more, stress less, and I'll see you in the next one.